I'm so happy to see you because we gonna dive deep into generating the CryptoPunks. Yes, I will show exactly, yes, exactly how you, you can create 10,000 CryptoPunks in a very, very easy way. Let's go. Hello, great videos. Welcome back to another video. It's Tan and Michael here today. And before we will start generating the CryptoPunks, Let's have some tea. What are you doing here, Michael? We are out of tea, tongue. Really? I'm so sorry, my creative hero friend. Let's start anyways. First of all, we have to understand the way the punks are being drawn. If we look closely, we can see that they all share the same, you know, shape of the head. And on top of it, we can see different features like cigarettes, different hair, and you know, glasses, and also the earrings. You get the idea. So, if we separate it to layers, we will get a head and the rest of unique different features. We will traditionally use Photoshop to start with uh, the drawing of the features on top of the head. If you don't know how this silhouette of the punk is, you know, being sort of drawn, Please check out this video where I explain everything in detail. Let's draw a cat. So this is our Photoshop PSD file template. Let's go and draw the cat. First, we will find the draw square, which is the one over here. So I will press Ctrl J to copy this layer of our draw square. You can see that if we have the move tool over here used, we can move it all around. I also have my grid turned on. You can do it by hiding the background and so right now I will move it right just here if I double click on the square I will change its color to a nice red let's say now I will press ctrl T so I can transform our square to any side that we want we will just pull this right side all over here you know to the fourth square after the silhouette now we'll press enter and now we have the first lever of our cap from now on it's pretty simple now i will press ctrl j again to copy the same yes the same rectangle that we already created but what i will do is the same as with the square so i will press ctrl t and now i can pull it just over here just by one square back i bet that you can almost see the cap already so now let's copy the layer over here ctrl j now i will move it back just here to the top and now we'll press ctrl t to transform it again so yes what we will basically do is now covering the whole head because of course our cap has to be on our head of our crypto punk right right so yeah i will press ctrl j again and copy the last or almost last layer again i will press ctrl t transform it by the grid you can see how Photoshop is helping us aligning it very easily with our grid. It just snaps, just you know, to the edges. So now I will copy the last layer for our cap. Again, I will press Ctrl J, move it up, and then Ctrl T and transform it all the way so I cover the whole head. Now we will add the last details to our cap, meaning that I will again move back to our draw square here copy it and then I will move it in all the way to this place and change its color to red again again I will copy the same square and move it over here right so we can get a nice cap but what we want is to add a little glare here on you know the front of the cap so I will copy the draw square again by ctrl J move the layer here all the way to the top so when I move it I can actually see it so the glare will be positioned just right here you can see again that it's nicely you know aligned with the grid and then i will change its color to a really light light red like this mm -hmm. i will copy the same square and move it just over here 
and the cap is done. It's really important to keep all the layers organized because we will create so many of them afterwards in the future. So now I will press shift and select all the layers that are corresponding to our cap. So that's this and this one. Now having all of them selected, I will press Ctrl G to have them group. Now I will move it all the way here to the top, give it a blue color and then rename it a cap. Now you can see that when I turn it off, the whole cap disappears and that's what we wanted. After finishing a feature, I recommend turning this layer off so you can have the blank silhouette to draw the new one. Now let's draw some crazy hairstyle. Again, we will use the draw square for drawing the hair. All right, so now I just copied the draw basic square that we have in our layer view and now we'll move it all the way let's say right here i will change its color to a nice green one because yes my friends we're gonna draw a nice crazy clown hair style all right so our square is colored we'll move it just right here next to the eye now i will press ctrl t to transform it and pull it all the way up here like this now I will copy with Ctrl J the whole rectangle and move it to the right side and move it by one square down. Very easy. Again, we will copy the same rectangle and move it just over here. And now we will transform it just like this. Very easy and nice, right? I will copy the last rectangle again by pressing Ctrl J, move it just over here and then transform it to three square bake then copy the last square again and move it just over here and then transform it again and make it just this size so let's proceed with the top so let's copy the last rectangle move it just over here and make it three size big and again the last copy of it and now transform it to just one square so you can see that it's very easy to draw when you have the grid and the rectangles ready it's basically just copy and transform and you can create anything anything you want all right the right side is done let's draw the left side again i will copy the draw square that we got from the last hair over there position it just over here and transform it of course it will look very similar on the left side so we will basically draw almost the same so now we'll transform this rectangle you can see that we are still applying the same technique it's nothing very new to us right so now just copy make it just this size we are almost done with the left hair all right so now we will fill the inner part of our head just like this and our clown hair is finished it's done now what we're gonna do is of course for sure cleaning up the layers so i will pick the top layer of our of our um, green hair and now holding shift going all the way down selecting all the layers with the green hair and press ctrl g to make a group i will move this group all the way to the top give it a blue color and rename it to clown hair and it's done if you open the group that we just created we can see that we have each of those rectangles separated in each the layer so if we for example would like to change the color we would obviously have to change you know each the color one by one which is rather slow so there is better way to do it we can select all the layers in our hair clown group and now we'll press ctrl e which will merge all the rectangles together to just one layer so when we double click now on it we can change the color as we want so that's way faster and nicer isn't it but i will leave the green color because it's nice all right the next very important step is exporting all the features essentially we only want of course always just them to be you know exported so we will leave all the other layers off and will export only that feature that we need to. If you are also using the same PSD file, then you can see that we have a lot of you know white space over here in our canvas. So for the exporting, we definitely need to do something with it. So I will pick a crop tool, which is over here. Now I will just drag it like this. 
So I will pick the perfect square of our CryptoPunk and then I will press enter. So right now we have the perfect square for the exporting, which is really important. So uh, the idea behind exporting the features and also the silhouette is that we definitely have to just have that on. So now having all these layers over here, I will turn that off and we'll really leave just the clown hair. Now go to file, save for web. Make sure that the format in here is PNG24 and the transparency is checked because what we really need is a transparent image of our feature. So in this case, it's our clown hair, then click save. Make sure that the folder structure that you create is very similar or the same as in Photoshop layers because then it stays organized and it's going to be easier later on for generating. So I have the Photoshop with clown hair in here and then I will click just save and it's done. And now we will export the rest of the features. You know already how to do it. Okay, let's say that now we want to export the cap that we drew. So I will just turn off the layer with our clown hair and then turn on the cap easy again i will go to save for web in here make sure that it's png24 and the transparency is checked i will click save now i will go to the folder that is upper in the hierarchy click here to create a new layer that will be named as cap again i will go to that folder and then just save it as cap and it's done just so you know by the way everything you see in this video will be later on available for download so no worries at all now we have all the features and the silhouette ready for yes generating 10,000 pounds are you ready guys are you ready let's go my dear creative hero let me introduce you to nft raptor yes the app that generates the combinations of our silhouettes and the features all together Okay, this is the NFT Raptors user interface. It's a very simple app. So I will start with adding the main image, which in our case will be the silhouette. So just add it like this. Then I will add the new attributes, which are the new features of ours. So when I click on this button, the new attribute will show up. I will add the new attribute which in our case right now will be the cap all right then i will add another one that will be the clown hair that we do together so now you can see that we have two attributes or features in the same level again i will add a new attribute now that's gonna be yes the accessories glasses and then i will put into the same level let's say the earrings and also the cigarette all right so just to recap we have a base silhouette that will be combined with the cap and the clown hair and afterwards it's gonna be combined with the glasses the earrings and the cigarette so when i'm done with picking the features i will just press generate and it's done this is the moment that we were all waiting for let's check the results look at that we have all the features that we drew in photoshop now combined with the silhouettes and each of this punk has unique features isn't that amazing oh and by the way i created the nft raptor myself so the whole app is pretty legit no worries at all but punk you promised to show the generation of 10,000 punks why are you still here michael well but you are actually right the way to increase the number of the punks that are being generated is really simple we just gonna create more features and their variations here are some examples that i drew and exported them now let's open nft raptor again and let's pour in all the new features here is the nft raptor again let's add the main image which in our case will be the silhouettes you can see that i drew some that are also kind of nice the ape and also the alien so right now we'll just add the normal one then we're gonna add the ape and 
that's all for right now. So that's adding the two main silhouettes. Now I will start adding all the new features and uh, the ones that uh, we added to the basic ones that we do. So uh, I rearranged the folder structure. So now we have the accessories, which are all <laughs> the things that uh, our punk have on their eyes. So let's just pick all of them and now click open. Now you can see that all of them have been added. Now let's add a new attribute again, the number two. This time we will pick the ones that are for the hat. So the important thing that we have to mention here is that uh, when you have the attribute one and attribute two separately, it means that there is no possibility of those glasses to be combined with these. There's only a combination of the lower attribute with the attribute, let's say that is on the, like, you know, up here. So uh, when you have all the attributes in the same level, they can and won't be combined. So there is, and there will not be punk with like two glasses on, which would look not really nice, right? So now we're gonna add another layer of attributes or in our case features of our punk. The ones that are for their mouth, you can see all the beards and the cigarette here. I like the vape especially, right? Again, we need a new attribute. The fourth one that will be dedicated to, yes, the little details like a clown nose or like an earring. And uh, we also have a golden chin here or a smile, right? So now let's add all of them again. And we are ready to start the generation process. Let's do it. Now let's see the final results. Oh my God, oh my God, look at that. We even managed to generate even more than 10,000 punks. How cool is that? I hope that you enjoyed the video, my dear friend. If you haven't met before, welcome to the Creative Hero family. We are passionate creators and learners. And if you have not, please hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot for the whole community and also the channel. So yes, welcome again. And to all the friends that, you know, I met already before, it's always good to see you. And now let's do the, now let's do the punch, the punch high, yes, the punch high. So thank you so much for watching. Tang and Michael are hot. Welcome to the nerdy corner. If you're having any problems running the NFT router on your computer, then it might be due to you not having the Python installed. Python is a programming language that I used for creating the NFT router. So basically what you need to do is just install it. I will leave the link in the description. But if you're facing any problems still, or have more questions in regards to NFTs or NFT Raptor, I'd welcome you and will love to see you on our Discord channel. I will also leave the link in the description. And my dear friend, now I'm really, really 